Hello everybody, it's the 12th of February today and uh, it's a bit chilly but I thought I would spend a bit of time doing some tidying up on this uh, hornbeam. This, I term it my fluted hornbeam after the, um, the sort of fluted roots, like a fluted column. Um, let's move you in closer so you can have a look at that. Maybe wondering what all these wires are doing. They're holding the uh, branch in place from last year. Um, in fact, they could probably come off around about now. But let's have a quick look at those flutes um, on the root spread, as it were. Almost like a dog's paw from this angle. But that's why I call it the fluted hornbeam, just to differentiate it in my mind from some of my other home beams. One of the problems with being a kind of one-man band as I am with this um, is you have to have the camera quite a long way away from the tree sometimes in order to get a little base of pot to um, apex in in one go but that's the problem with these larger trees but I'm becoming more and more enamored of large trees um, they are easier to look after in many ways in that you have a larger pot, you have a larger volume of soil. Um, it, they don't dry out so quickly. They tend to um, grow better than some of the smaller ones in very small pots. Um, and I do have some of those as well. And, uh, they can be trickier, particularly if we have a, a very hot, a very hot summer. So what am I going to be doing with this? Today I'm going to be trimming back some of these longer growths, wiring others and getting it ready for spring. I'm not going to repot it this year. I don't think it's a good idea to repot too frequently. Now, some of the books uh, give you the impression that uh, in order to have bonsai a tree you need to repot every year um, or most years. But I actually find that that's detrimental to the tree and uh, the poor thing barely gets going and then you hack all its roots off again um, what you want is to keep it relatively um, healthy is a good root system well tree was put in here as they say last spring it won't have entirely filled this pot it won't be completely root banned this year but what it will have is a good set of roots under it to power this year's growth and that will power the top um, to get more ramification and a better looking tree then maybe next year or maybe even the year after this tree can be uh, root pruned again repotted so anyway that's enough rambling about that let's uh, do some work okay so I'm gonna remove this wire and we'll see how well this branch is set Ah, very well. A little bit of movement, but not much, and no wire scarring worth worrying about. So that's nice. Because I used a, a long wrap of wire, rather than just the length I needed, um, this wire can now be reused. Uh, reuse, recycle, um, repair, no. Reuse, recycle, Whatever the other thing is, sometimes my murds get waddled. And they just downright don't want to come. But anyway, that's a nice long piece of wire. I can cut any length off if I need to, rather than a short piece that would have done the job, but maybe too short for another job. I hope that makes sense. So, I now feel confident that I can remove these pieces like so and yes the branches are staying put and again little to no scarring in the places where the wire was anchored which is always nice there we go and all that wire can be reused as well 
Okay, let's move you back again and uh, give you a 360 with the can in place to give you an idea of the scale of this tree. This um, little drinks can has done a grand job over the years. I may have to drink another can at some point just so that I can get a slightly less squashed can. Um, you can see where this tree had a big chop at one point, um, another big chop here and another chop slightly further up um, which is given some good taper this trunk was dead straight at one point and I put it in a kind of contraption that I built um, to get this small bend into it which this small bend here which um, if you look back in the playlist or earlier videos you'll see the contraption I mean um, a real um, horror torture device it's left some scar in here which I'm just going to take a little bit of the bark off just to, nothing major not like major surgery but I just want to smooth it out a little because of the damage that I actually inflicted on the poor tree whilst it was in that contraption just just smoothing that off a little it just makes that bend look a little bit better. The tree will repair that damage quite quickly. And now it'll repair it in a smooth way. So that's better. That already looks a little better. There we go. Okay, so back to this branch. Um, I do want to shorten it slightly so um, I'm going to shorten that and I'm going to shorten that and none of those now need wiring which is nice um, I do prefer not to wire if I can help it because I always think um, well I always tend to forget one tree and sometimes more than one and then it doesn't get unwired when it needs to and then you have terrible scarring a um, couple of branches here that are crossing so I'm going to shorten that one and remove that one okay that, that's Probably I'll take off that piece. And those pieces that are growing backwards and straight up. Okay, and I think I can probably get away with not putting any wire on that branch at all. Um, I might shorten that back to there a bit more. And that one back to there. I think that's going to pretty much eliminate the need to put any wire on this tree until it starts growing out a bit more. So that's fine. This branch, on the other hand, hmm, it's, uh, that's going to require a bit more work, I think. Okay, so if we start with these two. Um, this is one of the pieces that I just took off the uh, off and I'm going to reuse so I'm just straightening it up a little to make it a bit more easy to wind onto the branch and this is actually going to be about the right length um, and I'm going to wire both branches with the same piece of wire Should be enough. I'm going to shorten that anyway. Thing goes with this one. I shall be shortening it, shortening the branch. So take off that dead stub. Okay. So come back to that bud there, and that bud there, and then that branch can come 
are down and up and this branch can come up and then down and that also brings this branch out horizontally that's better okay so we want a piece for this and a piece for that Okay, so this branch I'm going to bend again slightly down and then out. And better, that's much better. This one can then come in and across and then I'm going to shorten that back to there like so take out this piece to there shorten that shorten that take out that ok I think that piece needs to come a little bit more across a little bit more movement that's better that looks more interesting than that horrible straight piece a bit more down as well perfect okay um, let's move up the tree This branch is a bit of a problem. Um, I could take it off and regrow, but I think I'm going to try to bend it down a little, like so. And I think the best way to do that is going to be with a kind of tourniquet. So we'll come back to that one. Let's have a look at this one. Take off these last few leaves. Um, I think we have this great big wide why and what I would like to do is just bring that in and I'm going to bring the apex down slightly let's move up again I'm going to bring the apex down to here like so um, I do want it to be a little bit taller, but this will just give it a little bit of a finer point, if that makes sense. And then at the back here, I'm going to remove this entire section. It's quite ugly, it's quite congested, um, and quite thick, and it's nice to have thinner branches at the top of your tree, so I'm going to take that off. I'm going to shorten that to there. I'm going to put a piece of wire on that. And just pull it round and have it fill out a little bit of that space in the back there. And so this piece, again it's rather long. I'll take that out, cut back to that bud and we'll see what breaks okay back to this piece let's see what I can do with that I've got, I've got some old pieces of this uh, irrigation tubing um, which is just I don't use it it's just scrap really and I'm just going to cut myself a couple of pieces and uh, put a little slot in the middle, like so. And 
then I'm going to take a piece of wire and you need a fairly shortish piece not quite long enough I will have to cut a piece but will be long enough okay so then I can thread said wire through the plastic tube That can go up. Well, if I bring it up there, that'll gives it something to hold on to. But I think I would be better there. I can then bring the other piece under. Let's move you. You're not seeing what I'm doing. That's better. So I can put the other end through the other piece of plastic which I think I'm going to put under there because that will give it, stop it slipping. That cut I put in it allows the, wire, the, the plastic to bend. I can then put that like so. Once again this is where you need three hands. I can just lock that Together. Perfect. Okay. So now, with the pliers and a little bit of pressure on the branch, we can tighten that up, bring that branch down. And this might need more than one growing season to um, bring that branch uh, to get that branch to stay put um, but the plastic will just stop the wire cutting in immediately so that's important because you don't want a huge wire scar if you can help it so now I want to bring in those pieces that are now facing downwards. Um, I'm going to end up crossing a wire but I'm going to live with that. I know the books say you shouldn't but rules are for fools, guidance is for people who aren't fools <laughs> or people that are less fools, I don't know. Anyway I'm going to bring that up that bud. Okay, so let's cut that off. And that branch is now going to come upwards. And then I think I want to bring those two inwards. bring it back round to the front. Now I can move that branch down slightly and back up. And this one in, up. So they're on more or less the same plane but you can actually see all three branches, not one hidden behind the other. I'm going to take off this bit now that's a little bit annoying. I'm going to take out this bit. This branch I'm just going to shorten back to that bud, like so. And there we have it. That's the tree prepped for spring. Sorry Coops. 
Ah, nearly tripped over the dog. Never mind. No harm done. Okay, so there we go. One last little job. I'm going to scrape off this top layer. There's a lot of fine rootage in there, which is great. Um, and I'm now going to add just a handful or so of this continuous release fertilizer. Not continuous release. I keep saying that, and I don't mean continuous release. It's controlled release. Continuous release, they get wet and they start leaching fertilizer into the soil. And uh, it, regardless, a little bit more, I think. Um, with this controlled release stuff, it doesn't just release the fertilizer when it's wet or when the pellets are wet. Um, it releases the fertilizer when the soil is warm enough for the tree to be actively grown, so you don't get a wastage, as it were, and uh, it's better hits the spot. I am going to cover those all up. I'm going to use the stuff I used, took off. The tray has handily caught. That means when I water these trees, the um, pellets are buried, they'll stay wet. And being at the top of the pot, they will leach, um, release the plant food down to the bottom of the pot rather than being at the bottom of the pot running straight out of the drainage hose. Of course, you'd have to take the plant out of the pot to get that effect anyway, but you, you know what I'm trying to say, I'm sure. So there we have it. Let's give you a quick 360 of the tree as it is now. And that's it for another one. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Do the YouTube liking, commenting, subscribing, all those good things. But most of all, please, please, please look after yourselves. Stay safe, everybody.